Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Chloe. So I've desperately been needing a new mascara because I don't like the most recent one I tried very much, not my fave. So I've had one sitting in my drawer that's an oldie but a goodie and I haven't used it in so, so long. So we're gonna be trying out this bad boy today. This isn't the OG telescopic, this is the carbon black one. I don't really know what the big difference is besides the fact that it's extra black, I think. I think that's it. And honestly, I'm not sure if they make a waterproof one, but if they do, I'm probably gonna pick it up. Because from what I remember, I really do love the telescopic. I also feel like I've been seeing so much online for it recently, like it's really gaining popularity again. This is one, like I said before, is an oldie but a goodie. I feel like it's always been kind of popular. It's always had good things said about it, but it's been years years since I've tried this guy. So I'm excited. Let's read some things about it first. Lift your lashes to the next level. We're looking at the OG Telescopic Mascara. It goes for $11.99. They have it in four shades, black, carbon black, brown black, and black is black. So the only difference between the black and the gold bottle is that the black bottle is carbon black. So just like extra, extra black, I guess. I'd be interested to try a brown one as well. I don't really see myself wearing a brown mascara, but I, so it doesn't really say a lot. This mascara is definitely known for adding a lot of length. That's kind of its main thing. I'm just gonna kind of read what this says quickly. L'Oreal presents telescopic carbon black mascara for lashes with dramatic length and two times the intensity. The flexible precision brush instantly lengthens up to 60% while carbon black pigments dramatize your look fragrance free. Two times more intense pigment compared to L'Oreal's regular black shade. Perfect. Doesn't really say a lot. That kind of plasticky brush like that is known for lengthening and separating, and that's kind of the wand I really like to have. It's all about the wand with mascara, you guys. I mean, obviously the formula too, but the wand is a big deal in what your lashes look like. So let's just apply this bad boy. Let's do it. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit here so you can see a little bit better. Just giving my eyelashes a good curl. I desperately need a new eyelash curler. This is my car eyelash curler because the one I have in here does not work well. I don't like it. I am missing a few lashes on this eye. I have a little gap. Please don't mind that. The brush is a little crooked. This is like the tiniest, skinniest little brush ever. Let's just go straight in. I'm gonna wiggle it up a little bit when I go up. I'm using really light pressure. I can already tell how much length that gives. Already looks incredible. Definitely very black. Other eye. It just is so good at coating the length of the lashes like right away. This eye is not looking as pretty as this one, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, that's kind of hard to get back in there. It looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm curious to see how much they fall. I already see them falling a little bit. I'm gonna let this dry, so I'll come back when I do the second layer. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. You can see my lashes have fallen a ton, which I did expect, honestly, so let's give them another good curl. Although when I have mascara on, I make sure to be really gentle with my lash curler and not use a ton of pressure. Okay, let's do a second coat. Just going up again, wiggling a little. Ooh. Okay, she's starting to get a little clumpy. I was wondering if that was gonna happen, actually. Okay, but they're still like clumpy, but like a little separated still. Other eye. I was hoping that wiggling the brush back and forth a little bit would separate a little more, but it doesn't seem to really feel like it's doing that. Okay, I do still like the way that it looks, but it's getting a little clumpy, just a little clumpy. I'm gonna let that dry and then come back. Okay, been a couple more minutes. It is dry again. They don't look like they've fallen quite as much this time, which is good, um, but I feel like throughout the day this would definitely fall quite a bit from here. So I am gonna go in, curl them again. It does curl really nicely with the mascara on there, so that is good. Sometimes I have the issue where after I put mascara on, it doesn't even curl that nicely. These are starting to look like something out of Dr. Seuss. Um, let's just not pay attention to that. It also looks like I have like four freaking lashes on this eye, but you know, it is what it is. I love how you can see the baby lashes coming in right here. 
Let's do another layer. Layer number three. I'm just kind of curious as to like how clumpy these can get, which it's looking like very right now. Okay, it's clumpy, but it doesn't really look that bad. Three coats, two coats. I don't even know how it's applying because these lashes are so hard. They're like crispy. Like it feels like the brush is doing nothing. Ah, and I'm getting crap on my lid. Oh my gosh, it is so hard to try and keep these separated. Okay, goddamn, that actually looks so pretty though. Ugh, I'm so upset about this. Kinda wanna put it on my bottom lashes, but I'm scared. I really like the way it looks without. Maybe I'll try like the tiniest little bit. Shit. I kinda like it without better. It still looks good, I guess I'll just fucking deal with it. I just want it to be like really soft though on the bottom. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And honestly, the reason I stopped wearing mascara on my bottom lashes is because it stains my under eyes and then I look like I haven't slept in a month and a half. And considering that this is not waterproof, it's like for sure Z is going to do that. So I guess when we check in later, we can truly see how bad that is. I assume it's not going to be cute though. I guess we'll see. Removes easily, does not clump, flake free, smudge free. That's what it says on the back of the box. I might wear hot pink makeup all week because I just realized they match my nails. They're pretty dry, so I'm gonna give them just a little tiny curl. Like the lightest pressure ever. Like I'm barely squeezing. All right, final close-up look. They are very crispy. They're looking very good though. Like slightly spidery, but you know, it's good enough. All right, I am gonna leave these here. So far, I'm really liking the way it looks. I really don't feel like these are going to hold the curl throughout the day though, because it is not a waterproof mascara, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe I curled them enough and they stay decently. We'll find out. So it's actually 1.30 right now, way later than I meant to do this, but hey. So I'm just gonna give it a couple hours and then we'll check in. All right, I'm back for a check-in and it's 4.15 now. I literally just got back from the store. I have been out and about today, just running some errands, getting some stuff done. I was putting it on at about 1, 1.30. So it's only been like three hours, but in those three hours, I think it's looking super good. I'm surprised I don't have a lot of smudging under my eyes. Like this is the only little bit. Considering the bottom lash mascara today too, that's impressive. I'm really happy with that. And they're actually so much more curled than I expected. Like so much more curled than I expected. Yeah, like I definitely don't feel like I need to curl them right now, which is pretty impressive actually, especially because it's not a waterproof mascara. I really thought they were gonna fall. Like tr truly, I did. I'm gonna give them the tiniest little because I have no self-control. That's kind of it, guys. I really do love this mascara. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda knew I love Telescopic going into this uh, from having tried it in the past, but this definitely confirmed it. Carbon Black, I love it. I would actually be interested to try the brown one. I wonder, because it is so lengthening, as clumpy as they feel, it's not too clumpy for my liking. I feel like they are still separated enough. It is a couple days later than what the rest of the video is. I had just ended up getting the black brown one and so I wanted to pop on here and show you guys how that one looks. I'm gonna try this one out so we can see the difference in color. So I can show you guys what that looks like. At least I'll be able to tell them apart because the bottles are different. Okay, it actually does look pretty brown. I was worried it was gonna be a little too black for my liking, whereas I felt like I wanted a brown mascara. And it does look very pretty. I think you can, I think it's brown enough. Okay, it's definitely a lot softer than the black one. I will put snapshots next to each other so you can see here. You can totally tell that's a lot softer than the black one for sure. It's very pretty though. I like how it looks. I'm just gonna load up a couple coats and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here we are with three coats done exactly the same as I did the black one. I mean, they look really good. It's definitely just a lot softer than the blackest black. I also did end up picking up the new telescopic lift mascara. You know, the one that's been getting all the drama 
recently, but I did end up getting it. I'm kind of curious. The brush is interesting. We know that one video is fake. We now know that, that's debunked, right? But I am still curious about the product and like the way the brush works. If you guys are interested and wanna see how this guy actually does really work, just let me know in the comments below. Even like the picture on the bottle, I just like, how do your lashes naturally go from this to that? The mascara doesn't make them grow, so how do they go from that? That's all I've got. So that's gonna be all for this week's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And leave me a like because it really helps me out. I'll see you guys in the next one.